continuing on with fashion news, we've got another bit of exclusive fashion news regarding someone that I love as well, and a former Saint Laurent or a former um, Yves Saint Laurent designer, Stefano Pilati, is also back. And this time, he's back on the high street. Zara taps Stefano Pilati for the co-ed capsule. Absolutely amazing news. So, for a while, a lot of people have been murmuring and there's been rumours on social where Stefano Pilati is going to go because I think for the last six weeks or so, he's been posting loads of archive pictures from of himself from his previous tenures at different fashion houses and stuff, showing us what he did, reminding us of how amazing he was, loads of BTS, editorial, runway things, just like a real treasure trove of things. And to be honest, Stefano Pilati, I think, is I think is well regarded by like heads, but I think in general, maybe casual fashion fans don't really give him the respect that he deserves, or maybe because he was, you know, um designer at Yves Saint Laurent maybe before social media was a thing. Maybe that was an issue. But I think people kind of overlook his tenure. Like he did some amazing things when he was like at his peak. But he kind of, I guess, pulled away from the scene or the industry after his last job and then kind of started up Random Identities, which was felt like more like his kind of passion project, side project on the side, um, kind of dropped whenever the needs to drop. If anything, the main thing I remember from Random Identities that I'd always liked were these shoes um, that he made, these amazing boots with this really huge high heel. There was one particular one that he did particularly when it first came out. I think it was this sort of heel. It was more of a wedge. It also came in like a cow, I think like a cheetah print, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just love, and I think if I'm not mistaken, they also came in a lookbook with a pair of trousers that were almost slightly sort of flared. So they kind of covered um, the entire of the top of the boot as well. So yeah, you also got the cheetah print as well. So I also loved Random Identities. I thought the price point of Random Identities was really good as well. You could get some really nice pants and jackets and shit, all for under like 300 pounds and stuff. Um, they used to sell it on Essence. I'm not sure if they still have it on there. Uh, let me actually check it up actually do they have um random identities on on essence because i remember those were one of the that was one of the brands i used to always like double check whenever there was a sale i would always double check essence to double check if they see because they, they always would have some minor great things on there like a great pair of pants you know what i mean all these type of things would always be on there so let me actually see what they have on here uh, let's go on essence and let's see what what they've got uh, left over from Madden Identities, and then we can continue on with the article. So yeah, the brand was started in 2017. As you can see here, courtesy of Essence, veteran designer Stefano Plati's newest project, Random Identities, a collection of ready-to-wear primed for our digitized age, channeling lessons of um, dizzying, uh, dizzyingly comprehensive, what did I say, dizzyingly comprehensive, where'd you go, 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 dizzying comprehensive career across top fashion brands including Miu Miu, Yves Saint Laurent and Zegna, um, yeah, um, Zegna was actually his last before he left um, the industry I guess at large, but as you can see here, really nice, clean basics, um, loads of great jackets, they've done loads of great trenches over the years, um, and just some nice bits and pieces over the time that I've been a fan of. And of course, this chain that they do as well, that's also been something that I've always had my eye on and on the wish list as well. So big up Stefano Pilati. So the news here, courtesy of WWD, is that he's going to be doing co-ed collection with Zara. Co-ed meaning male and female. It says here, Zara has um, conscripted designer Stefano Pilate to translate his much admired personal style into a capsule collection. About 50 styles for men and women um, also, 50 stars for men, 30 for women, plus shoes and bags are expected to go on sale early October, backed by Campaign Lens, um, St Stephen Meisel. Jesus Christ. Contacted by WWD, Zara confirmed the project and the Meisel shoot, but said other details are still under wraps. Best known for helming Yves Saint Laurent in Paris and Emmanuel Zegna in Milan. Pilate in recent years has devoted himself to random identities. His gentle fluid menswear line, he rooted boot last year with production distribution handled by Dover Street Market in Paris. So that's going to be pretty interesting because I feel like random identities is the perfect training ground for what he's going to do at Zara because the price points, or I guess the fabrication, manufacturing, production are probably going to be the same. So if he's able to do what he was able to do at Random Identities, he could easily do that at Zara. It's not like he's taking his vision of Yves Saint Laurent and trying to distill that to a high street. Maybe that'd be a harder jump to make. But because he's already done sort of like, you know, what you will deem to be like a quote unquote high street brand with Random Identities, I think he can do the same thing with Zara easily. And the one thing that's funny actually about Zara over the years, I felt like they probably needed this anyway. You know, they probably needed someone like him who's got his sensibility, his aesthetic, his style to do a collection like this. Because I think it worked really well. I think 
I think even the Zara customers who don't know much about fashion and just like the cuts of what they do and just like how, you know, maybe how glitzy and refined and maybe simplistic and minimalistic and maybe high quality um, or maybe how good some of the things make them feel because sometimes when you wear a jumper from Zara and it's a little bit tight and shit, it can sometimes make your make you like stand up a little bit more straight. You know, it's got like a weird armory type of style vibe about it. Like you look at, you know, you look at Asian guys from ENDS when they're wearing their like um, double breasted, uh, you know, I don't know, pea coat that they purchased from Zara you know that 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 was super popular during the winter and you can see them walking around like they're fucking bane and shit so clearly zara clothing does something to a certain type of man so you could imagine if sir fana Pilate has all this amazing tailoring and fashion experience taking that and distilling that into zara i think it's going to work really fucking well i'm honestly honestly sure of that um it continues says the italian designer has also become to his apparent puzzlement, an icon of young generation thanks to his Im imitable offhand elegance. The tall bearded designer has appeared on the cover of a number of magazines recently, including 10 and Japanese um, title Grind. Up next, he'll be fronting a large men uh, at large magazine, according to sources. Pilate caught the attention of fashion insiders by modeling a Giorgio, Giorgio Armani styled by him for the fashion shoot in the Mirror Berlin in June 2022. Last year, Pharrell Williams conscripted Pilate to walk the runway for his debut Louis Vuitton collection. The high profile event broadcast his compounding presence to the global audience. Yeah, that probably was the best look as well, by the way. That might be one of the best looks on that runway. Um, the first, um, what you call it, Louis Vuitton collection by Pharrell. That look that he had with that amazing, uh, what you call it, um, collarless jacket, the cardigan, the skirt, the fluffy socks, the shoes, so good. He's also seen in recent front row fiction on Dior's shows, thanks to his friendship with Kim Jones, a French Maison Men's uh, artistic director. Jones is who moonlights at Fendi for the women's collections. Um, last year, Tap Pilate for the full collection under the Roman Fashion House's new Friends of Fendi banner. Prized for his keen fashion instincts, voluptuous and distinctive tailoring, plus his knack for designing eye-catching shoes and handbags, Pilate has possesses a personal je ne sais quoi, which is rare in menswear. He embraces his age, favours clothes that look good on him over my, uh, what might be trendy, and carries himself with a plomb. So the funny thing about it is also... In recent years, I've noticed, I'm not checking my Instagram as usual as I did before, but in recent years, I did notice he has been posting a lot more stuff on his Instagram stories of him being out and about. And I have noticed him, like, actually moving around and going to, like, you know, queer gay nights and shit. I think the last time I saw him, I think he might have been, on his Instagram stories, I think he might have been somewhere in America. I think for, was it like DC Pride? I think there's, like, a really popular Pride event in the States within the black community i think it might be dc pride one of them so he's you know aesthetic wise cultural wise he's kind of out there you know out 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 so i'm curious to see if any of that influence will be you know will trickle down to the zara stuff or what we'll see from going forward i'm i'm really curious i'm really really fucking curious because i feel like before with, with random identities if i'm not mistaken he was based in berlin if i'm not mistaken i think it was berlin so a lot of that clothing you see that big chain with the massive like septum type of ball ring on the end of it it's something that you'd imagine someone would wear at fucking Berghain. it looked very Berghain, looked very watergatey very trezori type of vibe but now that he's going out to all these like you know um black gay queer nights and stuff maybe he's going to like you know he's going to see he's going to vogue shows and whatnot um he's trying to maybe tap up fucking frank ocean you know and, and find out what fucking ricardo tissue got up with him and stuff maybe that will you know give us a different sort of vibe when it comes to stuff that he's doing now um going forward with zara but i'm curious to see what happens there can't wait that collection will be super interesting to go see when it eventually does end up in the high street so big up stefano pilati i can't wait i can't bloody wait